hit the color. B-L-U-E. Pick a number. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pick one more number. Fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Pick another number. Six. Okay. Dream is destiny. Hey. hey, you a dreamer? Yeah. I don't see too many here around lately. Seems it's been tough lately for dreamers. They say dreaming's dead, and no one does it anymore. It's not dead, it's just it's been forgotten. Removed from our language. Nobody teaches it, so no one knows it exists. The dreamers banished to obscurity. I'm trying to change all that, and I hope you are too. By dreaming every day. Dreaming with our hands and dreaming with our minds. Our planet is facing the greatest problems it's ever faced. Ever. So whatever you do, don't be bored. This is absolutely the most exciting time we could have possibly hoped to be alive. And things are just starting. If the world that we are forced to accept is false and nothing is true, Everything is possible. On the way to discover what we love, we will find everything we hate, everything that blocks our path, what we desire. Comfort will never be comfortable for those who seek what is not on the market. A systematic questioning of the idea of happiness. We'll cut the vocal cords of every empowered speaker. We yank the social symbols through the looking glass of the value society is currently saying. To confront the familiar, society is a fraud so complete and venal that it demands to be destroyed beyond the power of memory to recall its existence. Where there is fire, we will carry gasoline. Interrupt the continuum of everyday experience and all the normal expectations that we live as if something actually depended on one's actions. To rupture the spell of the ideology of a commodified consumer society, that our repressed desires of a more authentic nature can come forward. To demonstrate the contrast between what life presently is and what it could be. To immerse ourselves in the oblivion of actions and know we're making it happen. It will be an intensity never before known in the Strange love and hate, life and death, terror and redemption, repulsions and attractions. An affirmation of freedom so reckless and unqualified that it amounts to total denial of every kind of restraint and limitation. A thousand years is but an instant. There's nothing new, nothing different. Same pattern over and over. Same clouds, same music. Same as I felt an hour or an eternity ago. There's nothing here for me now. Nothing at all. Now I remember. This happened to me before. This is why I left. You began to find your answers. Although it will seem difficult, the words will be great. Exercise your human mind as fully as possible, knowing that this is only an exercise. Build beautiful artifacts, solve problems, explore the secrets of the physical universe. Savor the input from all the senses. Feel the joy and sorrow, the laughter, the empathy, compassion, and touch. The most no memory in this travel bag. I remember where I came from, and how I became a human, why I hung around. And now my final departure schedule. This way out, escaping velocity. Not just eternity, but infinity. Down through the centuries, the notion that life is wrapped in a dream has been a pervasive theme of philosophy and thought. So doesn't it make sense that death, too, would be wrapped in dream? That after death, your conscious life would continue in what might be called a dream body? It would be the same dream body you experience in your everyday dream life except that in the post-mortal state, you could never again wake up, never again return to your physical body.